Are we in the social age trying to tell stories? Or are we in the story age trying to work on social? Buttons are dead. Chromeless is in. Try to do everything you can, as simply as you possibly can. Content production and therefore storytelling has shifted from talking to someone to talking with them. We are really moving into an era where interactive TV is finally coming of age. Every video is personalized and affected by the viewer. We really need to remove the consumer from the authentication process. We need less games to supplant TV shows, and we need more TV shows that are games. What you're working for now, is it for right now, or is it for the future? Television is in the process of major transformation, and many of those cutting-edge companies are here. The event is a, is a great networking opportunity where it brings the ecosystem of brands, agencies, interactive, creative types, as well as technologists who are trying to solve the problem of reach. This conference has expanded its focus. Now it encompasses my world of video on demand, big data, social. So it's really spreading out to the issues of the day. Right now you've got a cable modem, you may have a wireless access point, you probably have multiple set-top boxes. We see all of those different things coming together into one device. We are seeing the smart TV adopted by at least a quarter of television households across the country. Well, Ad Connect Plus is bridging the technology from the traditional distribution technology to the future technology, which is what smart TVs represent. And the next step will be program makers creating entirely new formats and genres which will really be not first or second screen but participation, being increasingly part of the show. I've heard a lot of great ideas today about uh, automatic content recognition and, and building really nice interactive applications so people can you know, do more than just sit on a couch and watch and they can actually you know, interact and participate in the TV experience. That level of personalization is ultimately where you're going to see TV everywhere and TV generally start to move, which is don't show me all the choices, just show me the things that I want to see. Everybody is now finally considers interactive to be mainstream. They know that the audience can talk back. The next step is really about not only interacting with other TV viewers, but really interacting with the content itself. Part of the conference is talking about uh, television of tomorrow, but as part of the hackathon, we're trying to maybe build it. One of the main reasons why we wanted to participate in the TV of Tomorrow hackathon is really to get kind of a, a glimpse into what's next. This was actually my first hackathon that I had participated in, and it was just an incredible experience. So we're excited to participate here in this hackathon. It's one of our first hackathons here for our team. We welcome the opportunity to meet other hackers, share ideas, and hopefully uh, have fun. I've been here maybe about two hours already, and I've already come up with at least four different ideas in the back of my mind as to what we could be doing. It's a great venue to go drive that kind of dialogue. I've met more people at this conference than possibly I have in the past year. Great job, TV Tomorrow. It's worth it. It's exciting for me to come and meet people that are just passionate about cable, passionate about television. It's always just fantastic to be in the room with thought leaders in the industry. It's been great meeting people from all different aspects. Everything from content discovery to interactive content itself to how advertising is changing. It's important to be here to get an understanding of all the different changes that are going around. It's a great convergence of everybody in the industry where you can really speak to people and understand how you can stay ahead of the curve. And that's why I think this, this conference is important and more people should come.